Hello all. Welcome to Appalamma's Kitchen. I am Neelima. Today I would like to share the recipe of Indian gooseberry lehia or amla lehia. Along with being very tasty, this lehia improves our immunity a lot by having a spoon of it empty stomach every day in the morning. Let's get to the procedure now. Here I took 200 grams of amla. I washed these thoroughly and patted them dry so that the lehia doesn't get spoiled when stored. Then grate all the gooseberries or amla. It, it is very simple, doesn't take a long time. This is the mixture after grating. This formed one heaped cup. Now take 3 fourth cup mashed jaggery for one heaped cup of grated gooseberries or grated amla. Use the same cup with which we measured amla for measuring jaggery. Now the next step is put on the stove, take a wok, add a tablespoon of clarified butter or desi ghee. Sort grated amla in this ghee on medium flame for 3 to 4 minutes. Keep stirring frequently. At the same time, on the other burner, take a vessel, add mashed jaggery, pour water just to immerse jaggery. Use low flame, let the jaggery melt. Keep mixing occasionally. Here the jaggery is yet to melt. While we have a look at jaggery, we shouldn't forget to keep stirring amla frequently, otherwise it would get burnt. After 3 to 4 minutes, amla absorbs ghee. By sorting like this, amla loses its raw flavor and it gives out nice aroma. Now there is no ghee at all in the pan, also the amla turn little golden. At this point, add half cup water. Use the same cup with which we measured grated amla. Let amla boil. Don't cover the wok with a lid. Keep mixing frequently. Here the jaggery melted. Put off the stove. Just this is the required stage. Just put off the stove. Squeeze 4 to 5 drops lemon so that syrup remains as is and doesn't get crystallized. Mix amla, check if any water is remaining. Now amla became very soft, no water at all. You can see here, there is no water in the wok. This is the stage where we have to add syrup to amla after water evaporates entirely. Filter for impurities if any. Let the jaggery form one string syrup. Use medium flame. Keep stirring occasionally. It takes around 15 minutes. It depends on the quantity you take. This is approximately after 15 minutes. Mixture comes very close. It leaves the pan and moves around. Now switch off the stove at this point. To check the formation of the syrup, wet the finger. See, you can see the single string formation. See, don't overcook now, just put off the stove and let the this amla mixture cool down completely. The lehia is done. Store it in an airtight container. It would be good for two to three months if it is stored outside. And if it is kept in the refrigerator, it would be good for five to six months. This lehia also serves as a very good combination for chapati, bread, ragi jowar and bajra rotis. If you like this recipe, please give a big thumbs up, share it among your friends and relatives and please do subscribe to Appalamma's Kitchen if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.